town and say we have a special guest. We can read this. So tell the people where you're from if they don't know. I'm from Brooklyn. Never slide this in. New York. That's dumb. So what does BTB stand for? BTB stands for Born the Ball. I used to play basketball when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Growing up and stuff like that. But we always, me and my friends, we always just lit. Like, Getting money just like that. So it was like Born the Ball, like a double meaning. Okay, so being that you do music now, why well, you never changed it? Are you going to keep it? Yeah. <laughs> so, what you going to do with it? Like, you still want to pertain it to music or? Music. I'm, I'm, I'm also like gearing it to the music. Yeah, I'm not like, into the basketball. I'm not like, I'm, I'm, I can't do that. I can't. My okay. kid wants to. So, um, so tell us about your earliest memory of music. Like, when did you say you got into music, or when did it start being your thing? Music, well, music always been a part of me. It always been around. Let me say that. Like, my whole family was like music being clown. Like, growing up, I grew up in the church, singing in church like that. Okay. I used to be shot up. I was, I was such a bad kid in school. So no, he was bad. Going to church on Sunday. Yeah, I yeah, like, I thought I was doing it. Like, yeah, I was bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then like filming growing up, girls just like bad boys. So I thought being a bad boy was cool. But then I think I saw him one time, my, one of my best friends, Jordan, he like had me sing on Facebook. And it went crazy. All the girls like, stopped, started fucking with me. like, oh shit. I want to start singing. So your first song that you dropped was a singing song? Nah, that was actually a raise on my son. Okay. <laughs> so what is it? Okay, so um, growing up, so who's your some of your inspirations? Pink Rock. Okay. Uh, Michael That's Jackson. Um, I, I'm a, I like old school music a lot, like James Brown, Temptation. So you so definitely like, grew up in church. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> So, um, how would you describe your sound of music? It's, it's kind of like, kind of different, but not too oldie different. Nobody really could like, for me, like, people, like, nobody like, like, underground right now, like, like me coming up right now, mm -hmm. nobody could really probably think sound like me, because like, I, I play on my words a little bit. Like, I, like, I drag it out. Like, nobody coming up and sound like you? We say, everybody sound kind of similar, but it's the sound now, like, the new generation sound, like, mm -hmm. older tunes, stuff like that. But like I, bring, like, I bring a different kind of flavor to it, I feel like. So what makes you stand out from everyone else? Me? I don't do what everybody else do. <laughs> like, they go right, I go left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do everything else they do. So you, you got to see that off the rip. Okay, so in a lot of your music, you, you talk about materialistic girls and groupy girls. So what, what's like some experiences you've been through that inspired some of those songs? I do, I do <laughs> ask that question, huh? Well, I've been through some wild experiences, man. Like, girl, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta give us one, even though we know some from the songs, but like, what's one that inspired the song? Uh, like my song, uh, Sucker for Love, on okay. my tape. That was my, like, I feel like I was my bag on that tape, because everything I was saying was factual. Like everything that I, had, I said in that song was fact. Okay, did you still speak to that girl? Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't more. <laughs> I don't more like, I try not to. Well, I, I, it's not like I don't try not to, like, I just wish she just changed her things. Like, sometimes like you can't change people, like, once you just, once a person is a wrong person, it will be wrong forever, like, that's it. They don't believe in order to change? Nah, you, I feel like, you have to want to change. You gotta want to change for right. yourself. Like, she, I guess that person don't want to change. Okay, so, your most recent, your most recent project, better than my uh, last. Yeah. What's your favorite song on the tape? Mm. <laughs> it depends. Like if I'm like, if I'm with, the, if I'm with the, like the guys, like something like if somebody say play some real shit, like you talking, like you talking to yourself, I play different. Okay. But if I'm like a girl, like and she want, if I would like, all girls that be in their bag, I play. I can't cry no more because like I would, I like that song a lot. I'm gonna say in my head is nothing. Like in my head fire too, but in my head was like I held that song long for a long time. Like, so. I don't know why. Why you be holding on to music? Cause we be Cause I be having strategies and sometimes <laughs> I be having, I don't be falling through all the way, but all that's different now. Like I'm about to drop one y'all consistently crazy. Like I'm about to see a different me. Like I will play with y'all at all. For me. Okay, so I'm better than my last. You speak a lot about struggling and making it out through hard times. So like, what led you to that, or what what would you say motivates you to keep going? I want my little sister, like, every, like growing up, I used to be like, Dad, I, 
I wish somebody would be famous in my family, but like super, super duper rich. Okay. So like my little sister, I ain't gonna lie, I want her like, to have a different like grow up bringing in me. So like, I try to go crazy. So like if I like if I make it, like when I know I'm, when I make it, and I have my money and all that stuff, she was she motivated me basically. My okay. little sister yeah. Okay, so um how old is she? She's not even a baby though, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> she got a sixteen scene coming up in May. Oh okay. uh, so she's not even really a baby, but she's still my baby. Like. I got you. I got you, I got you. So um what is your beat selection like? So first it was like like YouTube, feel me? But then now like I went with from like like a real, like a real producer like my son Jabari actually so he sent me a couple packets. Right now it's like um my son Carlos. Like Carlos. producer Carlos. He got he up coming up and coming on the tough though. I mess with him right now. But. So you have a producer? Yeah, kind of. I still take the beats from anybody though. Sometimes it's like, cause this is the whole thing. People send me beats and email, and they don't really be hitting. And then like, I don't really like to like, like, film talk back, cause I don't want like, nobody feel like I'm downplaying they cry. So, so I just, just rather like, fuck it. I, I just don't to say nothing. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I just, <laughs> feel me? If you got beats, good beats, send them in. But if you don't, just hold them to yourself, please. Just work on it, it's practice. Yeah, feel me? Like, we all practicing. Nobody ain't really feel me. Okay. Would you say that you make love songs, or do you feel, or do you feel like they're love songs? Uh, I make relatable music. Like my music, like you can relate to. If you really listen, if you really sit down and I listen to all my flows, I, I know I make a lot of flows, but if you sit down and listen to like my words, I mean, like you like being like, damn, you talk about it. Like, you feel me? I can relate to that. So I really make relatable music for people to like feel me on type of yeah. facts. So in in the project, but than my last. You don't have no features on there? No. Why is that? Because a lot of people doing that features. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not reaching out to nobody. But when I, when I would reach out to people, everybody would like it. So, so you was reaching out to people? You was yeah, just... I reached out to a few people. I ain't reaching out to them. So who I reached out to them. No, I'm not asking. But I'm saying, like, you do be trying to yeah, show love in the yeah, city. Yeah, facts. But only, only mess with my niggas. Only my niggas. Like, my niggas like BTBJ, even Ronaldo Loso, Cool Kill, BTB Bash, Screamo. Like you know, some Kuma, BMW product. That's all I mess with. I don't mess with nobody else. Like niggas like to me. Uh, my son eight out two, even up to eight out tough too. Yeah, okay. So um so who was like some of your dream collab stuff? My dream collab? Mainstream. I wanna do P V Rock. Go for it. So that'll be a dream collab? Yeah, that'd be crazy. That whole song would be crazy, I feel like. Right. So when you shoot any of your music videos like What's the process? Do you have like a storyline? Because uh, it seems like you have be flashy, but mm -hmm. it's also creative. When I first started doing videos, it was like running gun, everything running gun. Like, like my birthday just passed, I shot a move video. Mm -hmm. That was like a running gun. I just turned up to, to my B&B &B, shoot it. Okay. But different, I try to like go a little, a little bit with like a little treatment so okay. that could be different from other niggas. Like, feel me? But now these ugly new ones, we already <laughs> told you yesterday, like, straight movie, shout out my cousin T.D. Ray, the best video I've ever for in the world, hands down. So what you shot this for? It was like two I, songs. I, I shot, I shot two Armelie songs. I shot, what do you think, Armelie? I shot all the songs are better than my last, Love Lessons. So you shot all the songs? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to be seeing some videos. Yeah, we supposed to drop it like, I think we supposed to drop like, either like, either like later on this week. Okay. Okay. So, is it? What are you doing? Twenty twenty one. Like what's next? Twenty twenty one. What's next? We got visuals, collabs. Got, yeah, yeah, we got collabs. Big collab. I got one big collab coming up. My first like feature, like real feature thing. Okay. I ain't gonna say who though yet. I mean, but we like a lock in. But um, we got some. We got people looking at us. Like we in the car. We conversating right now. Twenty one will be a twenty twenty one will be a great year. Just know. Like, Stuff. A lot of niggas be out here be butt for real. They really be butt for real. They can't tweet me, you know what I'm saying? Like, but they don't be knowing, like, you gotta really open your ears, like, you know, you listen to me. I really be talking. Really be talking. So, um, being that it's so many, like, lit artists from that style, do you feel like you have to hold it down? Or you feel like the style been holding it down? Um, we need, we need one more nigga that, we need, we need one person to make, make some noise in the style. Like, we okay. had, like, we had, from yeah, we had like Frizzy. We had like my son's move better. That was it. But after that, it was like, I don't know. I feel like. So, you about to be next big thing from the start? Hopefully. Yeah. 
Okay, so tell the people where to find you, where to find your music, all that good stuff. You can follow my music on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, everything, YouTube, everything, your mom's awesome. crib, your man's <laughs> crib, your girl crib, we, we streaming everywhere, you are, for real.